Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have part two of my modest fashion hacks for winter. I did this video last month and you all said you wanted to see more. So today I have some additional styling tips that I like to use during this time of year. I'll have the first video linked in the description bar below, but let's dive into tip number one. Tip number one is to opt for slim fitted knitwear over your chunky oversized knitwear. When it comes to chunky oversized knitwear, it's really easy for it to just overwhelm your frame, for you to get lost in the sauce, and honestly for it to look a little frumpy because you're already wearing it with a lot more fabric because you're trying to dress more modestly, such as with a longer skirt. You want to have something to kind of balance that out with, especially if you're wearing a flowy skirt. It's going to be hard to tuck that into a flowy skirt at the waist when you're wearing something really chunky and oversized. Whereas your slim fitted knitwear really helps balance out your look. It just looks a lot more modern and sleek. And honestly, they're just as warm as the chunky knit sweaters. I feel like it's a myth that those cable knit sweaters are just oh so warm. Because honestly, the way the fabric is, you have a lot of air coming through. Instead, going for fabrics that are maybe cashmere or in a cashmere blend is not only insulating but you don't have to worry about it being so bulky so I love to go for fabrics that are either like I said cashmere a cashmere blend even like a thick ribbed fabric can be just as warm as those chunky knit sweaters tip number two is to opt for winter basics in feminine silhouettes and by feminine silhouettes I just mean the a-line style I feel like this is very universally flattering it's so becoming and it's a really easy way to dress modestly but still cater towards that ladylike and elegant style I have this sweater dress that's in an a-line style that I absolutely adore I actually wore it in the previous modest hacks video and I also like to find coats that have this style like cute like little pea coats or wool coats I have a coat from Abercrombie & Fitch that I wouldn't say is exactly A-line, but it does have more of a fitted style to it. So it kind of is cinched in at the waist and tapers out the hips. And it's a lot more flattering than your average puffer coat. I feel like it takes away that endogenous style and adds a more feminine take to it. So you can still dress practical and warm for the colder weather by looking for these different clothing items that are in these feminine silhouettes so that that way you can still feel ladylike and elegant even though you're dressing for colder weather. Tip number three is to tuck your sweater in your belt so that that way you can create a cropped look or create a rule of thirds look. So what I mean by tucking your sweater in your belt is I'll take like a sweater that may be a little long and then I take a belt, preferably something that's a thinner belt, I sit the belt at my natural waist or even a little bit higher and then I take the fabric of the sweater and kind of fold it over the belt. I've been doing this hack for around now for a couple years and I absolutely love doing this because I can layer it over my summer dresses so that that way I can wear them in the colder weather. It also creates a rule of thirds look meaning that I have one third of my top half and then my bottom half is two thirds. So this is going to elongate your legs and it just looks a lot more modern and put together. We're trying to steer away from the average winter frumpy look when it comes to wearing long skirts and dresses and go for something a little bit more fresh and I really love doing this. In fact, it's an easy way, like I said, for me to maximize my wardrobe. I can wear my sweaters even with like a cropped look and like I said before, I can wear those summer dresses as well. Tip number four is to belt it. Now I've shared this tip in a previous Modest Hacks video, but I think that in the winter time you just have a lot more opportunities to wear your belt with your sweater dresses, with your coats. I love the idea of wearing a belt over your coat or even finding coats with a belt. In fact, I've seen like puffer jackets that have a cute like little tie belt with the puffer jacket and I find that that is a nice feminine take on once again such a classic piece for the colder weather. I also love to wear my belts with my sweater dresses. I have this sweater dress from H&M that doesn't have that cute little a-line style but it's still very comfortable and practical so what I like to do is just have a belt cinched in at the waist and it really helps elevate the entire look. The last tip is to match your shoes with your tights. Now personally, I feel like when I don't do this, it just ends up looking very dated and it also does not elongate my legs at all. Think about it, you're wearing black tights and then you wear these colorful shoes that immediately cut off your legs and show exactly where your legs in. Instead, opting for shoes of the same color, like my black shoes with my black tights, helps elongate my legs and creates a more cohesive look. It's just a very small detail that can really pull your whole outfit together. And this does not mean that you always have to wear black tights with black shoes. You can always go for colors that are in the same color family 
or you can even wear colors like maroon and navy I think that those look really nice with shoes and tights of the same color and it can still look really classy because you're going for a monochrome look I want to thank you so much for staying all the way to the end of today's video I will have part one of this little winter modest fashion hacks video series linked in the description bar below let me know in the comments if there's any styling hacks that you like to use during this time of year as well as any video requests that you would like to see from me. I really appreciate you all's comments and your support, and hopefully I'll be able to see you all in the next video. Bye!